All right, everyone, we're going to look at Velodrome here. So Velodrome is pulling back here. You can see that going here on the daily candles from the low here to the high. The 236 is matching up with the high from all the way back in, what was that, March of 2023. So off of this huge wick here, it does not look great at the moment. Um, so we're going to switch back to the daily chart here. And you can see that the next stop to potentially stay bullish is about 2-1. You are at 2-4. So it looks like if you don't get bought back up very quickly here, um, you're going to drop down here to this 3-2 for another 14% drop at 2-1. If you take out 2-1, then there, you're probably coming back down to the 7-8-6 here. And from today, you're going to drop a total of 33%. So 2-1 is a big price to watch. And then, of course, the high here. If this can somehow turn into a wick and you hold on to two six, 26 cents, then that's very bullish here to hold that high. Now switching back to the larger time frame here, uh, the three day candles here, you can see that we broke the high, which is very bullish, very good. And ultimately we're selling off right now. So we'll see what happens. Watch those support levels. And we'll just kind of go from the high here where we are today. If you hold on to where we are right now on Velodrome, and you stay over the high you can see we do have some potential targets to watch here and i think a 2.4 billion dollar market cap up to four dollars is very fair you can see that as a 14x from the high here and then potentially a five billion dollar market cap on something like velodrome here up to 870 and from today if you hold that support of course you're looking at about a 32x so of course comment down below what do you guys think do you think Velo has the firepower to reach a $5 billion market cap. And if so, not a bad return. And of course, if this thing decides to drop all the way back down here to the 786 to back test that as support, you're looking at about a 50X if you wanted to, you know, take that chance and buy in down here, if it comes down here, of course. Uh, so not bad at all, in my opinion. So yeah, not financial advice. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.